Hey everybody, so John here, and I'm going to show you uh, my uh, Apple One basic firmware card that I built. I know uh, some of you guys have been waiting a couple years to see this and finally getting around to doing it. Here's the card itself. Here's the back. As you can see, it is Frankenstein, but you have to start somewhere. This this is a uh, it's about a four by six PCB. It's point to point. Um, you can see I've got two rails on it: top rail, bottom rail. One's for ground, and one's for uh, power. And on the front, I've got an, a 512k Atmel chip, um, which obviously is much larger than I needed, but it's all I had. Apple One Basic is only 4K, so if you, you have a smaller chip and you want to do the, do this project yourself, um, go with a smaller chip if you can find one. The socket here was for a 74 inverter, which uh, when I did my initial design, I thought I needed, but I didn't need it. But it soldered to the board, so I left it there. So here's the back again. And this right here is a cinch connector that I bought off of your favorite... Uh, your favorite uh, uh, um, auction site. Yeah, that's what it is, an auction site. And I basically just uh, super glued it, clamped it up, and left it overnight. And it does have two rows of pins, which matches J2 here, this the uh, edge connector here, and which is a top, you know, has a top and bottom bottom row of 22 pins each. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Ensure that my motherboard is turned off before I do this. Got it hooked so after I pulled it out, right? So plugged back in, and now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn on my monitor, and then I'm gonna turn on the power to the motherboard, and you can see that, uh, which you can't. Uh, you can see it. You can see that I. I get dropped right into uh, the ready state cursor for the Apple One. And the reason I do is because I'm using uh, Mike Willigal's, uh PS2 keyboard adapter, which I built also uh, detailed on my blog, um, which I didn't give the address to yet, did I? So it's appleonecomputer.blogspot.com. And that's also where you can find the schematic for this guy right here. So, uh, so yeah, and uh, the, the keyboard that you see in the video here uh, is an Apple II keyboard. That was my original um, keyboard that I used. I built my own keyboard adapter with the help of Wendell Sander. He had a great design for it, so I used it, and it worked great. Unfortunately, I fried the keyboard. It just died on me. I don't know much about them yet, so I haven't tried to fix it. So in any case, I'm going to demo this with a PS2 keyboard. Give me one second to walk around here. First thing I want to do is get into basic and do that I type in E000R, hit return, and there I'm in basic. And I'll enter a simple hello world program. So 10 print hello world. And then 20, go to 10. And then to be nice, we'll do an end, 30, end. And then run. And there it is. Hello world. I'm gonna stop it. All right? I just hit Control Z there, and it stopped it. And it says stopped at 30, right? So now I'm gonna do a list to show you my program. And there it is. Let's try running it again. Run. Boom. Good to go. So that's it. And I guess you may have noticed that I also have some uh, 70s era music playing in the background for obvious reasons, of course. So thanks everybody for watching my video. If you have any questions, send me an email. Thanks, man.